What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Five Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, um, you want to be notified for future readings, smash the sub button. Just saying, saying, saying. Um, I got another channel, so I decided to do it. Um, they're flowing in tonight. Just saying, just saying, saying. Okay, so um, the channel that I received was two people are about to um, gain extreme emotional um fulfillment with each other soon through many series of chain events that's what i heard so you plug it in how that resonates two people are about to um very unexpectedly but it's going to happen okay i heard very unexpectedly but it's going to happen so two people are about to find um gain extreme emotional um fulfillment and attraction to each other um unexpectedly but it's gonna happen um so you plug it in how it resonates um this could be yours somebody you're connected to um it sounds like through series of chain of events this is going to occur and it doesn't sound like it's happened yet i'll tell you that um however this plugs into your life um however it plugs in one already one already has extreme attraction the feelings are going to grow and they're going to come out okay i heard one already has extreme um attraction um but um and feelings but the feelings are going to grow and they're going to come out so extreme attraction so at least one person in this dynamic um already has extreme attraction towards the other person so i think they find the person physically attractive or emotionally stimulating or both but some kind of attraction whether it's mental or physical or both um i heard it's um, gonna come out basically whether this person wants it to or not um on one side um now that's one side of the dynamic i didn't hear the other one so you plug it in how it resonates um i'm gonna use the Island Time Wellness cards. Spirit so messages you have for the collectors. This person really respects you, know this. And they're about to help in many huge ways. Oh my God, okay. I heard this person really respects you, know this, and they're about to help in many huge ways. So you plug it in, however it resonates, spirit messages you have reflected. Um, so they, well, okay, so they're attracted to you, whether it's emotionally, physically, or both um it sounds like they've been keeping it in um it's somebody it's somebody you know it's somebody you know now whether you've known them for 20 years or two weeks or two days i don't know but they respect they've known you long enough to respect you i'll tell you that they respect you um and they're about to help you out in huge ways so they respect you enough to help you out in huge ways so for some oh well for whoever this resonates with i don't think you've known them for two days i think you've known them a lot longer than that um you plug it in how it resonates spirit messages you have reflected but they re but they respect you so that's a good thing and whoever this is for um they i don't think they try to hit on you like sexually um i'll tell you that um because they respect you um so that's why i don't think they have um very mentally stimulating it really turns this person on whoa well okay holy crap i haven't done like a re a love s type reading in a while but they are coming in um so very mentally stimulating it really turns this person on so you really turn this person on mentally and they respect you well hell that's that's a wonderful combination it, i mean i'm serious because if they respect you then the relationship could grow down the line 
Um, and I'm serious about that. If they just, I mean, it's always good to be physically attracted to somebody that you're con contemplating getting into uh, any kind of romantic relationship with. Just for real, for real, obviously, because you want to be sparks flying in the bedroom when it gets there. Um, just seriously. Uh, but it's so much more than that. So much more than that. You want it to be respect. You want it to be mentally stimulating. You want those things first before um, boobs start flying and penises start helicoptering and all that crap. Um, and I'm serious. So whoever this is for, that's awesome. Um, they respect you and you they find you mentally stimulating. So they can have a mental, um, a good mental intellectual stimulating conversation with you. Like the, the conversation can flow um and it it i heard it turns them on so i think they might be a sapiophile i'm serious i think they might be a sapiophile i didn't hear that but i think they might be a sapiophile is basically someone that um well i'll read you the definition of sapiophile i know um loosely what it means but we'll, everybody's on the same page just saying I think I did a reading, Sages reading, like, I think it, oh, it's been a while, it's probably about a year ago, but I heard Sapiophile and Sages, I think about a, I think it was a reading I did about a year ago, but we'll Google it. Sapiophile is one whose romantic attraction to others is primarily based on intelligence. Um, I did not hear a sapiophile, but they, whoever this is, if this resonates with you, they like that they can have a mentally stimulating conversation with you. So if they're not a sapiophile, they could be borderlining a sapiophile, um, because it turns them on. So that's what I think sapiophile. So sapiophile is one whose romantic, romantic attraction to others is primarily based on intelligence. I'm a sapiophile. I'm just for over. I am now. I like physical attraction uh, for sure. For sure. Um, I mean, who doesn't? But I'm a sapiophile, so I mean, I get it. Spirit messages you have reflected. Okay, I forgot it to get one more. This person knows it's going to take a lot of work to get there, but they are okay with this because they have other things in their own life right now that need to be worked out. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard this person knows that it's going to take a while to get to get there with you. So it's going to take a while for the relationship to grow and things to progress and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I heard they're okay with that because they've got their own things happening, uh, own things in their own life. So um, for whoever this is for, I think your person is in something right now. I think they're in something. I do. I think they're in, they're in a relationship right now in some shape, form, or fashion. Um and um they know it's going to um take a while to progress it with you but they are in something right now so it's you know they're gonna have to get out of something to get into something because whoever this is for i don't think you are into one night stands i don't think you're into third party situations i don't think you're into that kind of stuff and they know that they most certainly know that okay or they most certainly know that so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Whoever this is, I think they might, um, they're very, they're very logical. Um, they're intelligent. They, um, they're logical and intelligent and I don't think they are impulsive. Um, or they may be, and it's not showing through in the energy. Um, 
I'm not feeling impulsiveness in here, at least not with you. They're taking their time. That's good. But I would be careful because they're in something. They're in something right now. But they know they're in something. Um, and um, for some, I think they know it's going to end. Holy crap and moly. Okay. So we're going to stop there. Okay. We have clock, lightning, the chaser, healthy choices, I like you, and seduction. I'm going to get a moon cycle card too. I feel guided to get one of those. Now, obviously, I do not think this is that toxic Virgo that I just did the reading on. I didn't hear signs in here. At least not yet. I didn't hear signs. But I just did a just did a reading on a toxic Virgo trying to come back into a fire signs life. That toxic Virgo is street side. Um, they're gonna uh, they're very low vibrational. They're very street side, and I do not feel that kind of energy in here. Is what I'm saying. This is somebody completely different. This is this is somebody completely different. Completely, um, like the energy space is like yin and yang, man. I'm serious. This this is good energy. I mean, they are in something though, but they know they are. This is completely different energy. Completely different. They truly do respect you though. I can feel that in here. Spirit messages you have reflected. Wow. <laughs> It's feeling kind of spicy in here, you guys. In a very sapiophile kind of way, just saying. Spirit, let's see if you have to put it. Okay. Spirit, let's see if you have to put it. Okay. And we got peace and beginnings. Number 28 or 2 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 28 and 2. Um, it could be an age of a child, age of you, or somebody you're connected to. It could be a lottery number. It could be a social number, green card number, um, date of birth number. It could be um, a jersey number or you or somebody you're connected to. It could be significant numbers you're seeing out on billboards or advertisements in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel 222 two, two might be significant in this reading. Angel number 222, so I'm going to look that up because we have two down here. Good things to come for those who strive for good things. In this sense, the number 222 is a sign of good things to come. Yeah, I mean, I, I really feel it in here. I do. This person is very... This person makes strategic decisions. I'll tell you that. This person is very strategic. They make very strategic decisions. And apparently you are their love choice or they want you to be their love choice, but they're in something. But that's why they're being very strategic about this. But they, whoever this is for, if this is for you, they have not told you, but they haven't told you for strategic reasons. Um, they want to tell you. They want to tell you. Um, for, I do. I feel they want to tell you, but they're holding off right now. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to come down the line. I, I feel it. I, I do strongly feel it's going to. I do. I strongly feel it's going to. But there's re a reason right now at this current November 8, 2021 time at 9.06 p.m. But they have not told you is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, I'll read it one more time. Um Angle number 222, good things to come for those who strive for good things. In this sense, the, eight, the number 222 is a sign of good things to come. Again, the number 222 can be seen as a reminder that you're on the right path and doing the right things in life. This number is also a sign of positivity, good luck, and joy. Yeah, absolutely. Holy crap. Wow. And I do feel that in here. So I feel this person wants something serious with you. They really, I think they see a future with you. They absolutely see a future with you. Uh, 
Okay, I heard they absolutely see a future with you. Holy crap. Wish I've heard signs. I have not heard signs. But they absolutely see a future with you. That's what I heard. Okay, so let's do it. Okay. Holy crap. We're 15 minutes in. Clock. Need. Time. Takes time. In time. Cycles. Time to heal. Progress. Through series of chain of events in time, this is going to come out. We'll not hold it back. Okay, I heard through um, series of chain of events in time, this will come back. Uh, this will come out. Um, they will not hold it back. So um, we have the clock card. So time, it's gonna. Um, it, it's not the strategic time right now. They have these feelings for you. Um, they respect you enough to hold them in, and that's good. Um, they're in something right now. I'll tell you that. Whoever this is, they're in. They're in some kind of relationship, whether it's girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, spouse, or whatever. They're in something. Um, but it's some kind of like secret emo. You know, for some it could just be lust. Um, but I don't think it is. I think it's more than that. I heard they respect you, so I think it's a little more than that. Um, they. Obviously, they find you attractive mentally and physically, I'm assuming. Um, but it's more than that. And you want it to be more than that. Just saying. So I heard over time it's basically going to come out over a series of chain of events. They haven't told you yet. But they haven't told you for strategic reasons. So time. Okay. Wow. Lightning, sudden changes, uh, sudden change, shock, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. This person is about to have a huge, shocking, personal event happen in their own life that's going to change things for them. And it's going to make it better for the connection. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. So this person, if this resonates with you, your person basically is going to have some kind of shocking transformation and upheaval in their own life soon that I heard it's going to basically, it sounds like it's Scorpionic energy. For some, it could be a Scorpio. You plug in and how it resonates, but it doesn't have to be. Or they could have Scorpio on the chart. But I say that because of transformation energy. But it's some kind of transformation, shocking upheaval, transformation, Scorpionic type energy in their own life that's going to basically... It sounds like uproot something in their life, I think with their partner um, in their relationship that's going to cause y'all's connection to get stronger. So lightning. So that's the transformation energy. Now, I think it's going to cause them to open up to you um, through series of chain events is what I think. Um, but it's something in their personal relationship that's going to happen, it sounds like soon. Um, the chaser, chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. This person knows you're not codependent and they are not codependent. Usually. But this is going to really shock the hell out of them. Just make sure to keep your boundaries. Okay. Um, okay. So something shocking is about to happen in their own personal life with their partner is what I'm feeling. Something shocking. They're about to find something out with their partner or see something with their partner or some, their partner's going to do something. Something's going to happen with their partner. It's going to shock the hell out of them. I heard um, they know you're not codependent and they're not normally codependent, but they're about to have Scorpion energy up in their life that's going to make them a little codependent. I think wanting to talk to somebody and they're going to want to talk to you basically. Um, but I heard basically just make sure to keep your boundaries up. You know, it's okay to listen. It's okay to listen and be there for them if you want to do that. Um, I feel for whoever this is for, if this is for you, you probably do because I think you respect them back. And um, I think you'll have a positive 
healthy copacetic relationship enough to be able to listen to them is what I'm saying. So I think you will listen to them. Um, but I heard from Spirit, make sure to keep your boundaries up, you know, because they're in something. So you don't want to give too much and make them think they can just come cry on your shoulder and then sleep with you. Um, just saying. So, you know, just be careful. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to. Yes, it's going to be compassionate. Yes, it's going to be loving. Yes, it's going to be there for somebody. But you don't want to put the boundaries down too low is what I'm trying to say. And then make them think they can come in just for a one night stand. That's what I'm trying to say. Healthy choices. But they're about to go through something big, transformational in their own life, personal life. And it's going, it sounds like it's going to be pretty um, emotional. It's going to be emotional and shocking and they're going to need somebody basically like a shoulder to lean on or cry on or both. Um, just make sure to keep your boundaries up. Um, of course, everybody has free will, but that's what would be my suggestion. Healthy choices, making healthy choices and loving in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. After these shocking series of chain of events and communication occurs between you two, this person will really have way more respect for you. They already really, really respect you, but they will have way more respect for you. Know this way more. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. This person really respects you. Really? They really do. But um, it sounds like they're going to have something very tumultuous happen in their own life. They're going to come to you to talk to you is what it sounds like. Um, because I think they know you're level-headed. You have your head on straight. I heard they know you're not codependent and they're normally not. But, and, you know, everybody has their times when their partner goes cray-cray. Just saying, I've had that happen. Um, I had a cray-cray partner. That's why I'm divorced for so long. Just saying. Um, I get it. But... Everybody needs a shoulder to lean on every now and then. I think they're about to choose you because they respect you so much. But, and you know, that's okay. But it sounds like once they come to you and y'all communicate about this, I think once you put your boundaries up and they realize you put your boundaries up or you handle it in a very mature way and you don't try to like seduce them because you know their boundaries are down and yazzy, yazzy, yazzy. I think it's going to make them respect you more because I heard it's going to make them respect you more. So, um... Making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. So they're going to know they love uh, that you love yourself and you respect them. And it's going to make them respect you more um, by basically being there to talk to as a confidant and not, one, blabbing their business out to the world and the community, and two, um, you know, not going to try to seduce them. So that's awesome. That's how building blocks are built in relationships. I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, one to date. This is going to cause this person to like you a heck of a lot more. Know this. Much, much more. And they are definitely worth it and so are you. Wow, holy crap. This is so, this is a wonderful reading. Oh my God. Um, I heard it's going to um, cause this person to like you uh, a hell of a lot more, basically, um, after this conversation. They're going to come to you because they're going to have something crazy happen in their own life. But they know that you value respect and privacy and, um, and you're, you're loyal. And I don't think, they know you're not going to blab their business everywhere, is what I think. That's exactly what I think. Um, but... And you're not going to seduce them. Whoever this is for, I don't think you're going to seduce them. Um, and um, it's going to cause them to like you a hell of a lot more after this conversation. So after this conversation, it's going to cause them to like you a hell of a lot more. They already liked you before, and they're going to like you more. I heard much more respect. So I think you're not going to blab their business out to the freaking community is what I think. I think you're going to actually, you're going to be a friend to them, a true friend. And um, it's going to cause them to like you. A hell of a lot more and respect you a lot more and um and that's good building blocks it really is seduction attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation third party interference
It's going to cause a much, much, much deeper attraction. Know this. And other series of chain events will probably occur after this. Okay, I heard it's going to cause... Um, so this conversation, um, this conversation you're going to have with this person with their own personal life here, with their partner going cray-cray, um, is going to cause them to basically gravitate towards you emotionally. They already emotionally like you, just for real, for real, but they've been hiding it. They've been hiding it, but they're going through something in their own life. Um, but you, them actually conversating with you in a private, confidential manner is going to cause them to like you more. And it's going to cause the attraction to become more because they are conversating with you and they know you're not blabbing their business out to the damn community and the world or social media or what have you. Um, and it's going to cause um, much, it's going to cause um, like a physical, more physical attraction is what I'm feeling here. Um, sexual attraction, physical, physical attraction. I, they already are attracted to you um, sexually or physically. Um, et cetera, et cetera. But it's going to cause it to intensify is what I'm feeling. Um, and, um, and many more series of chain events will occur after this. So I think the many more series of chain events is them feeling like they, they can confide in you. I think more conversations will probably have to happen after this. Um, maybe for some, they get out of their relationship or they start getting out of their relationship. Um, because of whatever this is now that could resonate a million different ways for a million different people, but it sounds like it's something pretty serious for them to come for a shoulder to lean on kind of energy is what I'm trying to say. And they're choosing you to be the shoulder to lean on. Um, I, you know, this could be sympathy, them gaining sympathy from you. Because some people do that. They come to people, oh, blah, 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 just to gain sympathy so they can get in your pants. I don't feel this is. I don't feel this is. I truly, truly do not feel this is. Um, I don't. I don't. I'd tell you if I did, and I don't. But it's going to cause their sexual attraction and their, it's going to cause them to see you more that way in a physically attractive way. Um, sec, uh, well, not so much a sexual way, but a more physical, physically attractive way. Um, probably sexual for some. Um, I like you coupled with seduction, just saying. Um, they're going to be very, very, very attracted to you. Very, very. Um but I don't think anything's going to happen physically. That's what I'm saying. I just heard many more series of chain of events are going to occur. I think that might be more conversation. That might be more trust being built up. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. But the, the initial conversation is definitely going to be significant. I'll tell you that. It's going to be significant because they know they can trust you. Um, that's exactly what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. Peace. This person will definitely sense peace when they are with you. They already have. And it will intensify. Okay, I heard this person um, will sense peace when they are with you. They already have sensed peace when they're with you. They're going to sense more peace when they're with you. And it's going to intensify. So we have peace upright. So they feel peaceful when they're around you. They sense good vibes when they're around you. They sense peace around you, which is good because, you know, you don't want people sensing chaos and conflict and all that kind of crazy shit, just saying. But um, I heard they already sense peace around you. So that it's somebody you know that you've been around is what I'm saying. It's somebody you know you've been around already previous. They respect you. They find you physically attractive. Um, and um, they can see a future with you. Um, something crazy is going on in their life, though personally. I will tell you that. But I think for some, you're about to find this out. And it's going to start creating a series of chain events because um, they know you're loyal. They know you're not going to blab your, their business. They feel peace. I heard they already feel peace around you. You've already been around them. Um, I heard it's going to create more. They're going to have more of a sense of peace around you. I think after these series of chain events, after this conversation, um, I think them telling you what the hell's going on. I was talking about crazy crap going on in their life. Um, they do. They they sense good vibes with you. They they do. They already have, and it's going to intensify. The peace is going to intensify. 
because they know you're they're not you're not gonna blab their business. Beginnings. It's going to create beautiful beginnings here. This person knows this and you will know this after this initial conversation happens. Talking about the partner. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard um, it's going to create beautiful beginnings between you two. Um, and this person knows this. This person is highly intuitive. They're highly intelligent. They're highly intuitive. I strongly feel they're a sapiophile. I think you might be a sapiophile too, just saying. I strongly feel, I do. I think you both are sapiophiles. I do. I think you're strongly, I think you're both highly intuitive and you're both sapiophiles. Just saying, just saying. Um, but um, I heard it's going to create beautiful beginnings between you two after this conversation, them talking about the crazy shit going on with their, um, their partner, basically. Um, because they're going to feel they can open up to you. Um, and I heard you're going to basically a confirmation in the universe with this. Once the conversation happens, when they come to you and open up about their partner. So whoever this is for, they have not come to you yet and opened up about their partner. Um, but it sounds like it's going to happen. Um, so if you want to think that this might be for you and you think you fit the bill in this, and the only thing that hasn't happened yet is them coming and opening up about their partner to you in a personal manner, then maybe that could be confirmation for you is what I'm trying to say. Um, that's what I'm feeling in here. But you plug it in however that resonates. It's somebody you deeply respect. They deeply respect you. They find you very physically attractive. You're highly intelligent. They're highly intelligent. I strongly feel you're a safe file and they are. You're highly intuitive and they're highly intuitive. You both match on many levels. I'll tell you that. Many levels. I didn't hear twin flame in here. I didn't, but you're mirroring each other like a mofo. Just saying. You're mirroring each other like a freaking mofo. Um, so I didn't hear twin flame, but it could possibly be twin flame down the line, possibly. Um, if you make it into that. Of course, everybody has free will. Um, but so I'm thinking the conversation, them coming to you about the problems in their relationship or girlfriend or boyfriend or spouse or whoever this is it's going to be confirmation for you in the universe because i heard that from spirit so it's going to create beautiful new beginnings um so beginnings that's exactly what i think holy crap this is beautiful man let's see if i hear anything else i i still didn't hear signs you have to plug yourself in where you fit given the messages in here um you plug it in how it fits Okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. All right, you guys, well, we're done. Holy crap, this is beautiful, you guys. This is not that Virgo energy. That's some nasty ass energy. This is, um, somebody's going through some stuff. So, I mean, in their personal life, or they're about to. Um, whoever this is for, I don't think it's happened yet. Um, or it hasn't, or it's happened in the past and it's about to happen again, however that resonates for them. Um, but if it's happened in the past and it's happened about to happen again, it might be the straw that breaks the camel's back, um, is what I'm feeling. Um, of course, there's millions of people in the world. You have to plug yourself in outfits. That's my intuitive guess on that. I didn't hear that. Just saying. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else could benefit, benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.